Hi, and welcome to another edition of North Coast History and Haunts. Today's episode takes us to West Branch State Park. And today we are in search of two things. Number one is there's supposedly a witch's grave here, and it's kind of a nice hike. We're going to show exactly how you get to this location, as well as the Elliott Family Graveyard. It's a graveyard hidden deep in the woods, and for a long time nobody knew it was there. When the Army Corps of Engineers installed the lake here, you can't really see the lake. It exposed this witch's graveyard and this Elliott family graveyard. So let's go take a look. We're going to show you exactly how to find it. Come on, let's go. for a couple key things as we walk along here. Uh, this is a mountain bike area. It's really great. It's perfect for mountain biking. If you're into mountain biking, this is pretty awesome. And I would definitely come here and check it out. We saw some mountain bikers here earlier, so we're gonna kind of be on the lookout for them. But uh, hopefully we won't uh, get in their way and everything's gonna be cool. So let's walk. So this is the first trail <laughs> off to the right here, all right? And I think this one, don't want this one, okay? It's a cool trail, you don't want that one. That's your first path off to the right. <laughs> This is the trail we want. You can see it's unmarked. And this is kind of the second trail in from the right hand side. So let's check it out. Okay, here's gonna be your key right here. All right, so as you pass over this trail right here, you wanna keep going, you don't wanna take it, but here's the key right here. I think this is the machine loop trail. Don't go there, go straight, okay? And as you pass over this, it's got a little downhill here. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Okay, so when you're going on this downhill right here. All right, so look off to your left hand side. All right. Right there. It's kind of hard to miss with the fall leaves and the foliage. Let's go check it out. two things that we should pay attention to. Uh, this is clearly a foundation, the remnants of an old home. Um, and I think that is what a lot of people refer to as the witch's grave, the piles of stones stacked on top of each other. But this is the remnants of an old house that used to be here. We're gonna go look at just the quick foundation really quick. So 
So as we approach it up here, okay, so here's some old rebar that they used in the uh, foundation and then there's some old steps too. So there used to be an old house or some kind of structure of some kind, but I think this is where, this is the pile of stones that most people call the witch's graveyard. And I think the rumor has it that there was a woman in Ravenna that they thought was a witch and out here, they took her out here and they stacked her under some rocks and they put some, uh, some stones on top of her as well as a board. And in a sense, in essence, they were compressing her, they were crushing her to death. And that's unfortunately how she passed, if the rumor's true. But this sure looks like the foundation of an old home, more so than a bunch of rocks piled on top of a witch. But if it's true, it's a sad story. But that looks like concrete under it. So that looks like part of a house, part of a wall or a structure of a house, maybe the, uh, the initial foundation. But this is it. This is where most people say that the witch's graveyard is located. This is her grave. So if you're curious how to get here, this is it. It's pretty easy to find. So we're going to go to the Elliott family grave. And if you're ambitious, you could go across this stream here and go up the other side. In essence, that's where it's at, right over there. But we're going to go back and kind of take the path to it. So we're going to go back out and check it out. This is a beautiful, beautiful part of, uh, part of Ohio. You can see some people out there fishing this morning. And I hope they're doing good. So let's go back out to the main trail and I'm going to show you how to get to the other graveyard. <music> the second trail after the witch's graveyard. So it would be the third right hand turn. And right now you can see we're on kind of top of a crest of a hill. There's kind of a slight downhill there. And there's some branches that came down in a recent storm. They've got them cut up over here. But this is the path you want, okay? This is the third one in. Let's go check it out. So remember, our car is, where are we at? There we are, is down there. It's the third right. So it's unmarked. There's kind of a weird shaped tree right here, but I guess the forest's full of kind of weird shaped trees. But this is the path you want. So let's go check it out, come on. Okay, here we are. You can see this is kind of a short path, and this is the Elliott Family Graveyard, I believe. There's a lot of stuff in online that you can find out about it, but you can see how massive these sandstone uh, foundation blocks are. And there's a couple of tombstones, or at least the base, that are still left in here. This is an old, old cemetery, and a lot of people have been here uh, over the years, so. Just over time and lost to nature, a lot of this, the grave markers have been either kind of vandalized or lost, but still a cool place. They say that it's kind of creepy haunted in here. Your results may vary.
We're gonna try to get around this tree. It's kind of blocking our way here, so let's kind of loop around. lot of poison ivy you should really pay attention to unless you're really into itching so here's the back corner of it we're gonna go around this way looped around to the other side. And we're just gonna chill out here for a second. 